small world. Either you love it or you hate it, it's still a massive part of Disney history. So to honor this amazing attraction, we're going to be counting down the top 5 facts about It's a Small World. And before we start, if you want me to do a top 5 Disney on a Disney attraction, just leave it down in the comments below. Let's take a ride on the happiest cruise of them all. Now, a bunch of people think It's a Small World's first home was at Disneyland, but that's actually not the case. Walt Disney was actually assigned to make a pavilion for Pepsi Cola, or you may know it as Pepsi. This was for the 1964 World's Fair, and Pepsi was trying to bring a message of we're all the same, even going so far to have every doll have the same exact face. But of course, Walt Disney being so clever, when the World's Fair finished up, he could actually keep the attraction and bring it over to Disneyland. Pepsi Cola agreed, and of course today, we have It's a Small World. The original concept was for all of the countries in the attraction to sing their anthems, but didn't work as Walt planned and had become extremely annoying. So the Sherman Brothers, which had created songs for different Disney attractions and also Disney movies, had came up with the song, It's a Small World. So instead of calling the attraction Children of the World, Walt Disney named the attraction It's a Small World. If you want to go on this amazing piece of Disney history, you still can, and not just at Disneyland. They do have a smaller version in Florida at Walt Disney World, as the entire facade is indoors. And they do have one in Hong Kong and Tokyo, which are pretty much the same ride. But the most unique version is actually at Disneyland Paris, and even the inside's a lot different. And the only Disney resort that doesn't have it's a small world is Shanghai Disneyland. But besides that, you can still enjoy this amazing attraction at those Disney parks. It's a Small World was Walt Disney's last attraction that he opened personally, and it was one of the best openings. Children from all around the world would come to Disneyland and pour water into the flume from their country. Right after that, hundreds of balloons flew into the sky to mark the opening of It's a Small World. After that, Walt Disney got on a boat with a few others and took the first ride on Disneyland's It's a Small World. When I think of It's a Small World, I think of the art style that's put into the attraction. And that art was from Mary Blair, a famous Disney legend. The facade, the dolls, the costumes, she put a lot into it. And to honor this amazing person, Disney had actually put a doll that resembled her in her honor. So next time we're in It's a Small World, look for the doll and take in all the work that was put into this amazing attraction. 